Okay, guys, so we'll do a top down here on VAT. There is really nothing to speak of on the monthly. Um, I can drag this all the way to take out this first candle. I think I can or not. <laughs> all right. Monthly charts just all jacked up. Okay, when we look at the weekly, that was one of our best performers as far as far as all coins go back here in um, out, coming out of the summer of last year. And then it broke the daily bands. You can kind of see that here on the weekly. You know, our model is always fractal in nature. So by that, um, we can look at the eight on the weekly and understand that the levels on the daily will coincide with the break of the bands, for example, on the lower time frame. Um, but you will see here on the daily chart that this break here coincided with the weekly down cycle, all right, that started in October, ran into November, and then we um, commenced a new up cycle here in December, which, which now we're actually back cycling lower on the weekly. So there's been a pretty good rhythm here. Uh, longer term, I don't have a position right now. We actually um, got flat here on this break, and then I missed the move back this last run up. Um, and so you can see that the bands were negative. See all these lines are negative sloping, and they may or may not turn back up here. This it's not quite ready yet, so that's kind of what I'm walk, watching on the. The weekly level. When we go to the daily level, um, here here you can see this is this breakdown. Let me let me draw on the chart. So the term structure, or just the higher lows in the market, the technical market structure. You break this pattern of higher lows right here. Okay, and you can see this is why I use the what we call the bands here because it's a good visual. Right here, they all roll over negative. Okay, after this breakdown, so we got flat in here. We we had some good trades on some of these moves up. We were trading it around, and then just this was a good call to get flat because this was breaking down. And there's a lot of people that said, you know, I'm a hold. I believe long term, and guess what that turns into. A lot of poor performance and a lot of wasted capital and a lot of wasted time. This was just a bear market all the way into basically the middle of December. All right. And then it finally got above the bands here. And then, like I said, I missed this move. Just kind of fell off the radar. You can't always catch everything. Missed that move. And now we're consolidating again. I like that price held the 200 here multiple times it's respecting that and you'll notice the 200s flat so we'll see if this starts to curl up and if we can start to kind of break this pattern of lower highs this is something to watch over here on kind of what we call the right hand side of the cycle so if you think back to that weekly chart i said you got to get above the bands that's the same area and then it'll start to look like this the start of a, a bigger move up the risk then on the downside is right here. If we can't hold this, then guess what? You can easily fall back to, to these levels down here. All right. So those are the two pressure points, if you want to call them on that, that we really got to kind of focus on. But it, it's definitely just resting in here. Um, yeah, that's pretty much covers that one. I mean, you can look to the four hour. You can see the intermediate term prices in the northern hemisphere here. Again, the model's fractal. So we get above what we call our pie line, which is basically showing a break of the bands on the daily. And this is all uh, indicative of a bull market prices in the northern hemisphere. All right. Broke the bands here. You got to move back to the 200. Held pie. Um, so now we're kind of trapped between. You know, this pie line, these are areas. So right in front of 5,000 Satoshis, you have the 200, you have some resistance. That's the spot that the market really needs to get back above. But you can see here that the intermediate term is technically bearish. It's all lower highs, lower highs, lower highs. The bands are all negative. So there's no, there's no 
intermediate term up uh, momentum yet to the upside. It's still in an intermediate term downtrend. So you need to see a little bit more. Um, I mean, you see price prove itself some more here again above this forty-five, five thousand satoshi area, and then we could then we can uh, talk about a longer term uptrend again. All right, guys. Hope that helps.